Hi, my name is Engineer Ya Obenewa Okujeto, Chairperson of the Conference and Programs Committee of the Ghana Institution of Engineering. For World Engineering Day this year, Ghana Institution of Engineering decided to focus on what we as a country are doing to bridge the gap between academia and industry. We at the Ghana Institution of Engineering are excited to be part of the World Engineering Day. We are the foremost engineering body in Ghana and we are a licensed body under the Engineering Council of Ghana. The Ghana Institution of Engineering was established in 1968. We ensure that engineering is practiced in a safe and ethical manner. The Ghana Institution of Engineering has four main occupational groupings. We have the professional engineers, we have the professional engineering technologists, the engineering technicians, and engineering craftsmen. These engineering practitioners come under one body and to ensure that engineering is practiced well in the country. As we celebrate the World Engineering Day, we are here to showcase the various institutions that practice engineering in Ghana. We hope that you enjoy. In this section, we visit two places that would give us an insight into both academia and industry. We first focus on Academic City, University College, a university that has come together to bridge the gap between what the industry lacks and what we are churning out of our universities. We are given first-hand industry application knowledge to our students and teaching them to be prepared to come into the world of engineering with some level of confidence as well. So we will focus on Academic City University College now. Hello everyone, my name is Engineer Dr. Lucia Japong. I'm the Vice President for Institutional Advancement at Academic City University College, a premium tertiary education looking to create well-rounded minds and create future-ready leaders. Our mission is to educate future-ready leaders who can innovatively solve complex problems within an ethical, entrepreneurial and collaborative environment. We are a world-class center for learning, innovation and entrepreneurship where future leaders are nurtured for the global leadership and our national development. And today, we would like to welcome you to our campus. At Academic City, we have three main faculties. The Faculties of Business Administration and Entrepreneurship, the Faculty of Computational Sciences and Informatics, and the Faculty of Engineering, which we are featuring for you today. Under the Faculty of Engineering, we have two departments, the Department of Mechanical, Industrial and Systems Engineering, under which we offer programs such as Mechanical Engineering, Industrial Engineering, and Biomedical Engineering. Under the Department of Electrical, Electronics, and Computer Engineering, we do offer Electrical and Electronics Engineering, Electronics and Communication Engineering, Robotics Engineering, and Computer Engineering. Academic City University College is very big on STEAM education. That is the science, technology, engineering, arts, and maths. At Academic City, we truly believe that the future world of work relies on three key areas. That is artificial intelligence, biomedical engineering, and robotics. It is for this reason that we offer undergraduate degrees within all these three fields. We were the first in Sub-Saharan Africa to actually offer an undergraduate degree in artificial intelligence and in robotics engineering. However, it is not in these fields isolation that we truly believe that um, we can move this country forward. If we really want to build a resilient um, future, if we really want a sustainable Ghana, we truly believe that the overlaps of fields such as artificial intelligence, robotics and biomedical lies the key to a sustainable future. If we look at how artificial intelligence overlaps with robotics, we start to open up an area in autonomous systems, drone systems, from design, make, build, the full life cycle. If we look at how artificial intelligence overlaps with biomedical, then we start to open up a new area in biomedical data analysis, personalized medicine, wearable devices. If we look at how biomedical overlaps with robotics, then we start to look at rehabilitation devices, advanced prosthetics, haptic systems. But where the future really lies, we truly believe, lies in the intercept of these three new technologies. 
Therefore, here at Academic City, even if you take the traditional um, engineering programs like I mentioned before, we still give you an option to minor in any of these areas of new and emerging technology. If we are truly to build a resilient and sustainable future, we need to start thinking and we need to start collaborating with industry to solve complex problems using new and innovative technology. And that's what we do here at Academic City University College. Looking at developing countries such as ours, there are still some challenges that we face on a day-to-day -day basis, such as limited access to healthcare, the further you go away from the rural and the urban cities. We are blessed to be in the part of the world where we have the sun literally 24 seven. We are blessed with so many resources, yet it looks like we've still not tapped into our full agricultural benefits. People still talk about water shortages, sanitation issues, drought, limited access to energy. And this makes us think that we need a new generation of leaders. We need a new generation of innovators who can combine human-centered learning together with humanities and work with local industry to define problems and co-create solutions. That's why we Academic City started talking about development engineering, a field of engineering which looks to combine academic inquiry together with industry and the local community to co-define problems and co-create solutions. We want to introduce you to some of the projects that our students have been doing here at Academic City to try and address some of these challenges. We will be showcasing today the surgical lamp designed by our biomedical engineering students together with the smart electric bike and the smart wheelchair to address some of the challenges that is being faced by the deprived in the community. This, we believe, is our little bit to help with our community and we work with industry partners. Some of the projects we have worked with partners from Kolebo and other industry as well. Academic City is very big on industry academic collaborations. We spotted a problem, a gap in the healthcare sector, and that was the inefficient lighting systems in the surgical rooms in our local hospitals. We noticed that some of the local hospitals tend to use their touch flashlights during surgical procedures. So as innovators and critical thinkers in this prestigious institution, we came up with a solution, and that was to design and build a cutting edge surgical lamp. We seek to improve the surgical outcomes in our local hospitals by enhancing precision and their visibility. But not only that, we have also considered affordability and that accounts for why we use locally accessible materials. As you can see, the head of our surgical lamp is fully 3D printed and that was done here on campus. And the metal pipes and the metal sheets were all fabricated right here in the workshop. We aim to improve the lives of the people and that's what we do. Despite the fact that our product is affordable, we did not cut corners in terms of the quality. We ensured that we took the best metal pipes available at an affordable price so that we could deliver a high quality product. We added specialized wheels which will enable the surgeons to move the lamp around the OR bed and to also keep it stationary. With this innovation, our aim is to increase the affordability of surgical lamps in local areas and also to increase the efficiency of brightening systems in surgical theatres in our rural hospitals. We believe this innovative solution is affordable and effective and efficient for every local hospital. Thank you. Hello, my name is Barnabas Nomo and I'm a co-founder of Goliath Robotics. I'm Andrea Techi, a co-founder of Goliath Robotics. We are the first batch of the Alumni Jumpstart Incubation Program, an initiative launched by Academic City to help alumni jumpstart their businesses by offering funding, mentorship, and resources. The name was derived from a very popular story in the Bible where a young guy, David, beat a giant called Goliath. And the interesting thing about it was that he defeated Goliath with stones he found at a riverbed. 
and that formed what the company's philosophy is. That we look at problems that clearly glare at the average Ghanaian and decide what stones we are going to use to solve those problems. Currently, our flagship model is an electric bike called the Big Mac. The Big Mac was designed and made right here in our labs at Academic City, together with students from University of Dayton's Ethos program. And it's targeted to help the average Ghanaian move from one point to the other, especially with commuting to work and going to the malls or doing simple grocery shopping. Some of the features of the bike are triple shock absorption because of the regular terrain in Ghana that you find yourself riding on. We have cruise control where you set a cruise speed that you'd like to move at and the bike just maintains that speed throughout. And a couple of other things like ambient light control and night riding mode. An interesting thing about our company and its philosophy is the shared technology across all our products. And so the controllers that run the electric bike were initially designed to run electric wheelchairs, which shows that if it's able to run a medical device safely, you are safe using it. Currently, we have a test-driven model where about 25 testers have used our bikes to do simple errands and go from place to place. And based on the results of our tests, we have refined our products such that now we have a small-scale manufacturing plant where we are able to make about 100 electric bikes a week. In five years' time, we see ourselves spearheading the global market and being the leading producer of assistive mobility devices here in Africa. Join us on our journey to revolutionize mobility devices across Africa and the world as a whole. In this next section, we introduce the Automation Group Ghana, a forward-thinking company that has deliberately engaged young engineers to build and develop engineering solutions locally. The Automation Ghana Group consists of three member companies, Process and Plant Automation Limited, Automation Solutions Limited, and Electrical Switchgear Limited. So together, these three companies offer complementary services in electrical engineering, automation, process control, instrumentation, and the supply and installation of electrical and control switchgear. Over the past 20 years, the TAG has um, deployed solutions in the food and beverage, mining, oil and gas, power generation and uh, distribution, telecommunication industries. TAG is also an expert in industrial automation as well as building automation. Under building automation, we, we deploy solutions such as building management systems, energy management systems, data center management systems, uh, smart home solutions, solar PV systems, um, smart metering for apartments and offices and commercial buildings. So TAG, TAG believes in um, one family, um, knowledge sharing, uh, integrity, respect, trust. Um, at TAG you would find that most of the employees are young engineers um, who have graduated from the local universities, KNUST, University of Mines and Technology, Ashesi University and so on. And here at TAG, we believe that um, skills development is at the center of the solutions that we deploy. So we train our engineers um, internally and also with our partners, foreign partners, who support us with um, 
top-notch technology. We develop our young people to be able to, to, to design complete solutions, customize solutions to meet customers' requirements. We also train them to be able to provide support. So here at TAG, we're able to offer our customers 24-7 support. We're able to respond to customer complaints and requests as quickly as possible, help them resolve challenges that would have taken much longer to, to, to deal with. So we have a, a very strong field support team that supports our industrial customers as well as the customers in the real estate and the commercial buildings sector. Um, we believe that to achieve sustainability, we have to make sure that the solutions that we offer are of the highest quality and are installed with the utmost professionalism. So at um, Process and Plant Automation is currently ISO certified, ISO 9001 for quality management systems. And this um, has helped us to streamline our processes, uh, monitor the performance of our processes and the efforts of our employees and staff and to ensure that the desired outputs of our processes are achieved. So this has helped us to um, maintain the quality of work that we offer and ensure the sustainability of the solutions that we offer, the long-term um, benefits to our customers. The other unique thing that we offer as a company is that because of our quick response to customer callouts, we're able to help customers reduce downtime, especially in the industrial sector where downtime costs a lot of money. Downtime means that production comes to a halt and um, the volumes that would have, could have been produced are lost due to the downtime. But because of our presence here in Ghana and uh, proximity to our customers in Ghana and West Africa, we're able to quickly respond and help customers resolve issues and minimize the financial losses that they would have incurred. As we celebrate the World Engineering Day, we'd like to congratulate engineers and the various institutions and uh, capacities for their hard work, their ingenuity and creativity in deploying amazing um, solutions and products in Ghana and West Africa at large. You're doing a great job. We believe that as we continue with our engineering work, we can help businesses deploy smart solutions that would optimize the way they work, increase productivity and profitability, and help their economy to grow. Congratulations once again, and keep it up. In this next session, we will be introducing an industry player who is keen on harnessing the transformative power of Ghana's mineral wealth. In the context of mining, engineers, whether it's mechanical, electrical, mining, geological, have all come together to play a role. The mining industry has faced challenges, cost pressures, uh, exploration risks, and so on. But over and over again, engineers come up with solutions I'll take uh, exploration as an example, where there have been innovations through artificial intelligence, analyzing data. It's all come from engineering solutions. In mining, we have um, driverless trucks, automation taking pace uh, at an accelerated pace, uh, mineral processing, safety. So we've seen a number of initiatives that our engineers are doing to make mining more sustainable. These days we talk about decarbonization, renewable energy. We have renewable energy experts uh, collaborating with mining engineers, mechanical engineers, coming out with solutions on how to meet this net zero target in 2050. So what I've done is I joined uh, an organization called the Australasian Institute of Mining and Metallurgy. And we have a whole range of uh, benefits. And so I've taken up myself to, to sponsor or to to be the founder of the Takwa Students Chapter. And that Students Chapter have members from UMAT, Ken University, and UDS at this stage. 
any engineer who has interest in the mining sector. Currently, there are about 150 students. Some, of, some have graduated, but the current membership is 150. And we use this platform to provide professional development initiatives. They have access to mentors across the world. Uh, they have access to scholarships. They have access to e-library. And both local and international experts do webinars to educate them on future trends, on how to become good leaders in the mining and, and allied industry. In my field, there are a number of, not specifically for me, but a number of achievements that have been, uh, uh, that we have reached, especially in Ghana and, and in the international communities. Um, if we looked at mining in the past, and I think yesterday I elaborated on that, there have been an accelerated pace of automation with everything used to be physically involving and all that and so on. So automation is driving the mining industry. In Ghana, you can see some of the mines using things like smart cap. Smart cap is a, is a helmet that allows the supervisor to see the fatigue level of operators in real time so that they can raise the necessary alarms. We've seen innovations in processing where we have a number of initiatives by the metallurgists to be able to treat low cost, uh, low grade ore. Historically, over time, we see that grades are decreasing and it's posed challenges to, to recoveries and, and cost of processing. And we see metallurgists at the forefront of solving these, uh, these problems. So there are solutions that are being uh, uh, taken up by engineers across various fields, in mining, metallurgy, mechanical, electrical, and so on. We need to just keep pace with these developments so that in a, as a country, we can compete with the global world. So my well wish message is to continue the good work we are doing. We see a number of Ghanaians in almost every developed countries in very leadership positions, technical positions. Um, we should keep it up. And a lot of them are coming back home to, to share knowledge. I've spent three days, two to three days in KNUSC, have interactions, shared knowledge, learned a lot myself. And as a country, we need to also provide this practical knowledge to our, our students who are the future leaders of the country. Because in many instances, they need to be able to balance the theory with practicals and we should offer them opportunities and, and, and share knowledge. So we should keep it up and train the future leaders of the, of, of, of the country. We're grateful for the opportunity to present Ghana's contributions to engineering solutions for a sustainable world. On that note, we wish you all Happy World Engineering Day. <laughs>